Greetings and welcome back to City Skylines. So last time we uh, did a bunch of stuff. I'm not entirely sure what anymore. I think we upgraded this area to have some uh, high density buildings on this side of the city, which I think is uh, nice. Hope that they can level up soon enough. We also added a bit of high density down here. And that's also fine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you might have noticed that I did not connect this thing and while it wasn't exactly intentional I think it did have a, a good effect on traffic because uh, Let's take a look here. So All the guys going all this highway uh, Cannot take this off ramp obviously so they would all go this way to take this off ramp and as you can see it's not so busy So that's totally fine. Let's take a look with the traffic tool uh, let's let's watch this one. So as you can see all the red lines are people that are taking the uh, the first off-ramp of this highway And you can kind of see them spread out to uh, everywhere So you got a lot of people going this way this way mainly to this area where the Where this ramp does not exist. So the thing is If I were to connect this one all those people or a lot of those people would actually be taking this off ramp and they would uh, focus they would uh, concentrate in uh, sunset heights and then spread out which may not be ideal because as you can already see sunset heights already has quite a bit of traffic despite the fact that it doesn't have this off ramp if i were to add this off ramp we'd have even more traffic which is not good but just for the sake of experimenting i will connect this one to see how things evolve the question is where do i connect it um i guess i'll connect it over here because that way they might spread out on this road and not on this one so let's just go ahead and do this and in the meantime while traffic is kind of uh adapting to the new path Let's take a look here. So, as you can see, we have a lot of complaints from the commercial areas about lack of customers. We got the lack here. We got lack of customers everywhere. So, in order to accommodate for that, I will be rerouting a few bus routes. And also be making a new bus route. Because, as you can see, we have a, a very big dead zone here. That... Uh, needs to be supplied with people but let's start off with the blue bus route so this one this one only passes through here which may not be ideal and it only has one stop in this commercial area so let's add another one i'm going to be pausing for this and in the meantime we will almost be hitting the next milestone which is very nice uh, let's see i want to make sure that they take a uh, decent uh, route so Let's, uh, I always forget to do this. Let's move these ones up here. If I am allowed to. I guess I uh, turned these two around. That's not good. Let's uh, do that again. That one on that side and this one on this side okay and now we got uh, the uh, bus line going this way so i can add um wait a minute let's move this one over here that'll make it easier perhaps right and now i drag this one back here no no back there okay that's good Now we have two stops. Let's uh, make another one up here. Got this one and we got this one. So that gives us three stops in this commercial area. Hopefully that will supply all these guys with enough people. And I guess I could make a stop down here as well. Let's see, we got this one to supply this area. Uh, we got a lot of commercial down here, so let's... 
track this stop back here. Let's make sure it's on the right side of the road. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to wait and see. Sometimes difficult to keep track of where the bus will drive. Alright, so that works. We kind of have a, an empty space now back here that still has a lot of commercial, so... Let's see, so this supplies these guys. Uh, this stop might be a little too close. Let's move it that way, perhaps. And I messed that one up. This one needs to be across the street. Okay, there we go. So, uh, that's going this way. Okay, well, these guys might be fine. They will get a lot of customers from all this high density in this area, so... Uh, let's unpause and let's see what we did. Although it will take a little while before all the guys can... All the people can uh, get there. In the meantime, let's take another look at this area. So we'll be creating a new bus route that will go from... Uh, from this district. I suppose it's not even a, a district yet, but it's supposed to be. Oh, and there we go. We are now a colossal city. We have the uh, ability to buy another tile and we get a nuclear power plant. Speaking of buying tiles, I've been thinking about it and I kind of want to expand in this way. Uh, this one will be very useful to set up industry seeing as the cargo, uh, the cargo ships and all the shipping routes are over here so this is pretty much the only space where I can build out the uh, harbor so <laughs> that will be exactly what I'm doing most of the harbors will be on this side and on this side so I'll be making industry over here and I guess I'll probably be having a few uh, regular harbors over on this side to supply all my commercial and residential areas so that'll work but for now, let's focus on this new bus line. Let's see, so... Looks like we got some things on fire here, that's not very ideal. Right, let's create a new line. Um, this shouldn't be a very busy road. No, it's fine. Oh yeah, speaking of busy roads, let's take a look at what damage the off-ramp did. We are getting a bit more traffic now down here. And we have a lot less down here. Let's take a look at the traffic tool. So yeah, as you can see, we are not getting any red lines going that way anymore. Which is to be expected. And what do we got here? If I am able to select it. Right, let's take a look at all the people that are going past this off-ramp. So we got a lot of people, it seems, going this way. Yeah, it now shows a percentage when you hover over it. If you if you look here to this uh, little uh, window, you can see this one is 8% of traffic. Although I'm not sure how, uh, how exact it is because sometimes the numbers don't seem to add up. But still, it seems okay. Over here it's obviously 100%. So that means... Up to 8% is moving this way. And you can see the red lines extend. We got a, a big red line going over to this way. That's a lot of uh, commercial, well, not commercial, uh, residential people that want to take this route. Though here it only says 1%, but still. Over here we got 4%. About 9% go up out of the out of the industrial area. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea what it does. I guess it's not that bad. Well, now it's it's starting to uh, get some issues. So it's certainly not ideal and it seems like we got a lot of uh, traffic issues now that come from the fact that we got a lot of guys that Let's uh, go back to this one. 
You can see we got a lot of people that are crossing this uh, busy road here and every time one of these cars takes uh, one of these intersections they kind of delay all the traffic that needs to move on this road which isn't ideal so that's kind of what I was hoping to avoid as you can see it is much more busy another possibility is to put this off ramp above this industrial area that would allow the people that need to be in the industrial area to still get here but all the people that need to pass through wouldn't be causing any problems with the intersections i'd be moving most of the traffic over on this uh, big road down here let's let's try this out so we already got an off ramp here i might as well create an on ramp as well Let's see what that does. Now of course we got an on ramp here which isn't good. Maybe I could put one under it. If I'm allowed to. And it's gonna be tricky. I guess I can start from under the bridge. No, there's a pillar in the way. Now there's another pillar in the way, I'm thinking. Okay, that would work, but that's uh, totally ugly. All right, let's 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 get rid of this one first. I'm going to be rebuilding it in a moment. Let's just create a off-ramp that goes... Is this a two-way? This is a two-way. That's good. Let's create an off-ramp that goes this way. And now let's recreate this one. There we go. And let's get rid of this one. Or at least uh, one part of it. So that they don't take it anymore. Now all these guys should be going this way. That means they will... They will split up over here. Let's just take a look at what that does. I'm uh, kind of expecting this area to uh, glow up red from all the traffic. It's going to take a little while. We got all these guys uh, going into nowhere. They just teleport someplace else. So it's going to take a little while before all the new cars arrive that have an updated uh, path. Oh, there we go. We got a few. Now this obviously doesn't look all that nice anymore, but uh, it is what it is. It's still better than the uh, spaghetti intersections. <laughs> all right, well, let's leave that to it for now. And let's start off with making this uh, new bus route. So, the question is, do I let it drive through Sunset Heights as well? I'd be going this way into downtown I guess that could work okay so yeah let's start somewhere in Sunset Heights not uh, this area but some place around here perhaps this is a two-way And we're taking this uh, little one to uh, go around. Okay, that's fine. But let's uh, continue. Okay, that's not good. Is this? This is two way. This is uh, oh, this is one way. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Let's uh, let's get rid of this one. And let's put it down here. That should do better, I hope. So, where do we drag this one? And it's doing that thing again because I'm putting it on the wrong side of the road. Let's put it there. Okay, that's a bit better. Now we move this one through this commercial area. Like this. Okay. Now we move it to 
this place. No, let's let's move it over here, close to this uh, high density area, and let's put another one up here to pick up all these people. Now we move this one up here, and then we got another stop over there, and another one up here. So that gives us three stops in this commercial area, hopefully to uh, drop off a whole bunch of people. And now this is still somewhat of a dead area. I guess I could perhaps move the this line a little bit more this way. That could work. And apparently they are already uh, leveling up from having a half bus line. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Let's just continue this way. I guess I could uh, service this road back here. If I'm allowed to. So they want to take this one instead of this road. It's not ideal, but oh well, it is what it is. Okay, now where do we go? We wanted to go downtown as well. I guess I could be passing to uh, Victoria Square. No, wait, let's move this one one block below. If I'm allowed to drag it, that is. Let's just get rid of it. And let's put it down there. And now we can take this... Uh, this road... up here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not driving on this uh, busy piece of road, this one. So I should actually be trying to make my buses take another route, but that's gonna be somewhat difficult. But I'm at least gonna make sure that this one doesn't go that way. So let's put a stop up here. I guess I could use this road as well. Another stop up here. Yeah, this is very bus busy, but then again, it is downtown. There's a lot of people down here. Let's move this one to this area, and then we can hopefully turn around in a proper fashion. Um, no, let's, let's move it over here. Yes, I think that's a little better. And now we go back. It's difficult to see where the stop is. I think it's over here. All right. This is the nice thing about having mostly two-way roads. Your, uh, your bus line will go uh, very linear. Which is very nice to uh, keep an eye on what it's actually doing. If you have a lot of one-way roads, they will take all these uh, stupid turns to try and get back to the uh, position that you actually want the uh, stop to be. So I'm certainly not a fan of one-way roads. I only use them when necessary. gonna be a lot of uh, long route I guess I actually never even stopped uh, the game oh well that's all right and then we complete the line okay and let's try and modify this color if I can find one of the buses or I guess I could just do it right here. Let's. We got a green one. We got a blue one. Let's make something yellowish. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. So we got this line going around here. That's nice. We got this one now. That should be supplying all these guys with some more customers. I hope. What's this? Not enough goods. Wait. Oh yeah, and I did add another mod, 
Uh, as you can see, there's a whole lot more information down here. And it may be difficult to read on YouTube because this font is a little small. But we got uh, health, fire, police, elementary, the whole uh, thing, all the services. Then you have the, uh, well, I guess the bad things like pollution, abandonment, which I don't actually have, seeing as it's turned off. Uh, crime rate, noise. And here you can see, oh, we actually saw this one pop up. Wealth progress. And it actually went down again, I think. But that gives you a lot more information about the level of progress of your areas. Which is nice, because that's often something you kind of have to guess about. I don't like guessing. <laughs> right, and I was gonna move this green line a little bit this way. To try and make sure that all these guys have a bus. So the last stop was up there. Let's move one down there. Okay. Let's move another one up here. Is this a busy road? It kind of is, but it's necessary. It's pretty much the the main road for this kind of district, so I don't really have any other options. And let's put another one over here. It shouldn't create that much traffic, honestly. And that'll be the last stop. Then we just need to create one over here, and they will take this uh, dead end to turn, which is good. And we need one over here, and one up here. I think that was it. So now we pretty much service almost the whole town with uh, three bus lines. Let's take a look. So this new one is servicing 110 people at the moment. Uh, that should go up eventually. It takes a little while. Let's take a look at how much we are earning. Wow, we are over 1 million. I didn't really check all that. So uh, we are pretty. We are actually making profit now on the bus lines, which is amazing because all my mods did increase the the uh, maintenance costs by uh, by 100%. So. I'm not sure if it also increased the, the ticket income. Because if it didn't, then this is certainly very profitable. Right. Now we got a lot of money. Dare I say too much money? Let's see if we can change something. So, uh, we don't have that much commercial happiness. I'm actually gonna drop the taxes for the commercial guys a little bit. By 1%. I can afford it, so that's fine. Uh, let's up the budget for healthcare. Let's up the fire department budget. Uh, what else can we do? Electricity. Yes, I was kind of planning on balancing out this uh, big coal power plant that I mentioned before. This one. But I haven't really gotten to it yet. So that'll have to wait for a little while. So let's uh, put down a few more of these guys. Alright, now let's take a look. It's on 100% and... Okay, that'll be fine. I am making a lot less money now, but that's all right. I think their happiness went up a little. I'm not entirely sure. We got a lot of happiness for these guys. So that's very nice to see. How is the customer issue going? Okay, so there's a, a lot less people complaining about lack of customers, which is very nice. So that bus route worked. And I think we got a few less back here as well. So rerouting the... Uh, blue bus line also worked. That's certainly going good. I guess all of that also made them pay a lot more taxes and that kind of made me have a lot more money. Okay, so what else can I do? 
I was also gonna be changing up this area. Oh yeah, and I guess I should be buying a tile. Um, so it's either this one or this one. I think I'll start with this one. Yeah, let's just do it. Then next up I'm buying this one. How far for the next milestone? Metropolis. Uh, 65,000. Then we get a airport. And another area. I guess there's another one behind it. Because otherwise it would have shown me all the uh, extra areas that I could buy. Because of the mod that unlocked everything. So right, now we have uh, gotten rid of this ugly little corner back here. So... Let's start off with getting rid of this stupid road back here. And I had no idea about what to do with. And... Do I have an ID now? Well... I must say, it's not my most inspirational day. So... <laughs> we might go wrong here. Oh yeah, and I've also noticed... Quite a few times that the... Uh, that the audio has some issues when I'm working with the with the road tool, which is kind of odd because it doesn't really increase my CPU usage at all. It's uh, kind of odd, so maybe I should try and refrain of talking too much when I'm working with roads. Right, so what am I going to do? I want to... I certainly want to break up this, uh, this grid style. It's gone on long enough. We've started back here. And it actually already started happening back here, but... Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just uh, drawing things. Uh, I guess I could just fill this stuff up and then I actually want to do this a little differently. Ooh, that could actually work. And then we have this one going through the middle, and then we can branch off. Hopefully that works out how I want it to. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I guess I'll be ending the episode right here. We made a, a lot of progress when it comes to uh, public transport, I suppose. As you can see, we have uh, almost gotten rid of all the complaints, which is awesome. And we are making a lot more money again. I'm not, I'm not even sure where it's all coming from. Somehow, even putting this on a high difficulty allowed me to uh, get buckets of money. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I guess I could invest in some more education, perhaps, or... Uh, I'm not sure. Oh well, we'll uh, have to find out next episode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.